Well, I remember, I think last year you played a very big show in Vienna mm. in front of 50,000 people. And uh, is it a difference for you, personally speaking, performing in front of a huge crowd or instead of playing in a small club? Well, logistically, it's different. You know, the way that you actually present yourself and the way that you actually do the performance is different because if you're in front of like 50,000 people, in, a, in a, an open-air situation, then obviously you've got to try and remember there's people right at the back who are watching you on the screen, so you've got to be aware of that and you've got to be aware of all that sort of situation. So it's completely different to, um, to doing something where you're just really close to, to somebody. So logistically, it makes a lot of difference. And, and the way you perform is it, it's completely different, you know, because it's a big thing. I like both. I like all kinds of things, you know. I like to do stadiums, and we did in, in, during the um, during the summer of 2004. We did a lot of um, a lot of open uh, open air festivals, and we played to a lot big crowds in not only Vienna but also in, in um, where else was it? In, um, Linz and um, Berlin, and so we did a lot of big open airs, and I loved that. In, in Russia, we did some as well in St. Petersburg. That's great, but also, you know, I like to play in halls where like theater situations, where there's like maybe 2,000 people, that's a great experience too. And, and this is a different thing as well. So it's all good, it all makes a makes for a variety of, of things. Well, generally speaking, do you prefer the people sitting and listen very closely to your music, or do you like them standing <coughs> up and cheering? And well, as I say, I, you know, I'll, both things have the merits, I like both, I mean, um, it's nice, The, the the best of all worlds really is to play when you first come on and you and you're getting the thing going to a seated audience to to start off seated so you can play some of the quieter stuff early on and then as it goes more as you build it up and get more kind of rocky as you go on which is what I do in the show then for them to get up and start to be more up and and going for it so that's the best of both worlds but um, you know I like I like just to, to perform to an audience in different situations anyway. Well, how does the set list look like for the tonight's show? Um, well, we're doing um, different songs than we, than we often do because we the set that we've been doing on um, on the live show um, has got a certain s bunch of songs in it. Um, but I wanted to, this is going to be different because it's it's going to be in 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 conjunction with some other stuff as well. So I wanted to do some different songs. So um, I'm doing a couple of smoky songs that I never do normally, like It's Your Life and Mexican Girl, which I never do, and I just hope the band knows it, because um, they don't usually do it. Um, I'm doing some things from the Breakaway album, like Drift Away, and, um, and some stuff I haven't done for a while, like Sweet Surrender, which is from a, uh, an album I had out a couple of years ago, three years ago. So it's a varied mixture, and, and I'm doing a bit of rock and roll, a bit of, bit of folk, a bit of Bob Dylan. Next year. So nice mixture. Mm. Oh, mm. Is there a favorite part of this of this show you can tell? Um, <clears throat> no, because you know the it, it, the show doesn't really has a it, for me. It's not like a favorite part. I think of a, doing a, a performance or a show as kind of like building. Um, a, years ago, I used to have a, a manager who used to when we were first starting. He used to say you should when you're working out a set, you should put numbers next to it. So. You should start off, like if 10's the top, you should start off with an eight, and then do another eight, and then a seven, and then a six and a five, and then a four and a three, and then a four, then a five, and then a six and a seven, and then go back up to get to the end, where you should be going 10, 10, 10, 10 at the end. And that's a good way of thinking about how, because it's like really just how to, to, to gauge the, the way a, a set goes. It's like putting it, putting it together. And that's how I think of it. I don't think any bit's better than any, any other bit. It's just different. You know, the first bit is kind of up and let's get going. And then you can just take it down a little bit once the people are aware that you're there. And then you can go through like a quiet patch and then build it up. And I like each section because it, it does what it's supposed to do, you know. Well, you just said uh, in the interview tonight you will perform songs like Mexican Girl you normally wouldn't do. Mm. Why are you doing this tonight? Well, because we're um, a lot of the the songs that I normally would do are, are, 
in the live set. I don't want to do the same on this unplugged thing. I want to do different ones so that there's a, there's a, there's a big variety of songs um, so that uh, people can see a, a live, me live in a, in a, in a, in a stadium or a, or a festival or a theatre doing the normal live set. And this is something different. This is something with songs that I don't always do. I mean, there are some songs that I will do that I do in the live set, but, but a lot of them are different ones, you know, so it gives them a variety of stuff. But there's still, I mean, you know, there's still going to be a lot of songs there that, that people know. If you think, you know, I love me living next door, Alice, I'm still going to do that. I'm still going to do, you know, some, lots of different stuff. So there's plenty, plenty there for everybody. Well, tonight's show will be recorded for DVD and a CD as well. Well, is it true that this will be your first DVD ever after all this time? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Why? This must be a good reason for it. Um, well, because, you know, in, in the early days, if you go back to the early days, um, I mean, DVDs came about mainly because of video. You know, people making videos and then compiling videos. That's how the first DVDs were, were sort of thought of. Um, we didn't make that many videos in the, in, in the early days because people just didn't, you know, records were the thing. So we never had that much of a, a backlog of stuff to put together as a compilation. And then when I started doing my solo stuff, um, I never really wanted to do that either. And what, what I wanted to do was to do a live show, but um, people don't always want to do that with me because they think of me as more like a recording artist, the, the people who haven't seen the live show. Once I think they've seen the live show, they realize it's a different situation to what they thought it was going to be because we are like a rock band, you know? Um, so, I don't know, maybe that's why they didn't, you know, the record companies never wanted to invest the money in doing it or whatever, I don't know. I really don't know why, but um, yeah, this is the first time I've done it, which is good, it's about, it's about time, eh? It's about time, and, and, and certainly for the, from, the, from, the, from the fans' point of view, I've been asked for quite a few years now, why don't you take out, why don't you bring out a DVD, why don't you bring out a DVD? And it's always a case of, well, you know, um, the, the record company always has got the, the rights to it, so I'm not going to pay for it, because to give it to them, and if they don't want to pay for it, then I'm stuck, you know. So, but now we're in a situation where we can. Um, so this is good. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Are you, uh, generally speaking, into this kind of a DVD? A lot of people are talking about it, and DVDs being released all over the place, especially. I think it's a good medium for for, um, for artists now because the record um, or normal audio CD situation is is getting more difficult. Um, they're easy to download and everything. Whereas whereas video or, or visual stuff isn't so easy to download. I mean, it takes longer and the quality is not as good and all that usually. So. Um, it's a good it's a good medium for somebody like me because it shows and, and also I'm not just like a, um, a a pop star just doing one little pop song after another. I've got like a, a lot of stuff to do. I've got like 30 years worth of material to do, and so to do it on that's why on the, on on this we can we can go do loads of stuff. This is one thing, and then the other things, and so it's a good thing for me. Um, and I like to see you know I like to buy DVDs myself. I mean. I think there's some great things. They were talking about doing um, some kind of an uh, anthology DVD for Smokey sometime, but I don't know if that's going to happen. That's probably later on or something, I don't know. But um, one of these days that might happen. So those kind of things I like, you know, I, I think they're nice. <laughs> 